begins with silence. A silence that stretches beyond time, beyond light, beyond the reach of sound or thought. In the vast, unfathomable darkness of space, two giants wander the cosmos. Separated by two and a half million light years, they drift in slow, ancient motion. One is our home, the Milky Way. The other, our neighbor, Andromeda. For billions of years, they've lived their separate destinies, each filled with hundreds of billions of stars, nebulae, black holes, and planets, orbiting like dancers on invisible strings. Life as we know it has bloomed on a tiny world in the Milky Way, a fragile blue dot clinging to its star. But in the grand architecture of the cosmos, nothing is static. All things move, all things change. And some destinies are written not in prophecy, but in gravitational inevitability. Andromeda is falling toward us, not in a moment, not in a year. But across the silent backdrop of space, the future has already been set in motion. We are on a collision course. Two galaxies, enormous, spiraling systems, hurtling toward each other at a speed of over 110 kilometers per second. The fate of both is sealed, and the result will be cataclysmic on a galactic scale. But will it destroy us? Will stars collide? Will our solar system be torn apart, cast adrift into the cold void of intergalactic space? To understand the ending, we must begin at the origin, not of humanity, not even of Earth, but of these vast cosmic behemoths. Nearly 13.8 billion years ago, the universe itself was born in an event we call the Big Bang. In the afterglow of creation, matter clumped, cooled, and coalesced under gravity. Galaxies emerged from primordial clouds of hydrogen and helium, spinning into majestic spirals and chaotic clusters. The Milky Way was born more than 13 billion years ago, forged from merging proto-galaxies. It grew by devouring smaller neighbors, shaping its swirling arms, its luminous center, and its silent, invisible halo of dark matter. Andromeda, larger, heavier, even more massive, evolved in parallel. They were never alone. Dozens of smaller galaxies orbit them like satellites, part of a larger structure known as the local group, but within this gravitational collective, the Milky Way and Andromeda are the two dominant forces. And now, those forces are converging. The collision is not an accident. It's not even rare in cosmic terms. Galaxies collide all the time across the universe. Some merge into chaotic ellipticals. Others pass through each other like ghosts, their stars unaffected, but their shapes distorted beyond recognition. It's a cosmic dance dictated by the silent whisper of gravity. And we are now part of that dance. The evidence lies not in ancient scrolls, but in data collected by observatories, satellites, and telescopes peering deep into the night sky. The Hubble Space Telescope confirmed Andromeda's approach in 2012. It showed us not just movement, but trajectory. Inexorably, Andromeda is heading our way and nothing can stop it. But don't expect an explosion. Don't imagine two fireballs crashing in apocalyptic fury. Galaxies are mostly empty space. Stars are far too distant from one another to collide directly. The average distance between stars in the Milky Way is measured in trillions of kilometers. If two galaxies merge, it's entirely possible that not a single star will collide. And yet, the effects will be profound. As the two galaxies near each other, gravity will begin to pull at their delicate structures. The outer halos, vast, invisible cocoons of dark matter, will touch first, tugging at the orbits of stars, warping the shapes of the spiral arms. As they close the gap, tidal forces will begin to ripple through both galaxies. Stars will be flung into new trajectories. Gas clouds will collide, compress, and ignite in violent bursts of star formation. Black holes, supermassive titans that lurk at the heart of both galaxies, will begin their long, slow spiral toward a final, devastating encounter. In the quiet solitude of deep space, chaos will reign. The timeline is slow from a human perspective, 
The first approach may take another 3.9 billion years. When it happens, Earth's sun will be approaching the end of its life, swelling into a red giant. Our species, if it still exists, may have long since departed the solar system, seeking refuge among the stars. Or perhaps we will have vanished altogether. But the cosmos doesn't need witnesses. The galaxies will collide nonetheless. They will pass through each other like phantoms, distorting, tearing, reshaping. Their arms will twist and elongate. Great tails of stars will stretch into intergalactic space. Entire star systems will be flung from their homes, exiled into the eternal night. And then they will return. Pulled by gravity's relentless hand, the galaxies will fall back into each other, again and again, in a slow motion dance of destruction and rebirth. Over the course of billions of years, this gravitational waltz will settle. The spirals will disappear. The familiar shapes we know will be lost. In their place, a new galaxy will emerge, an elliptical behemoth forged in the union of two giants. Scientists have already named it, Milkameda, a new cosmic city built from the ruins of its ancestors. The solar system may survive, its fragile planets clinging to the sun's fading light, or it may be cast adrift, flung into deep space, a solitary traveler among the stars. It may find itself in the heart of the new galaxy, or in its outermost fringes, forgotten and alone. But in either case, the story of our home will have changed forever. This is the scale on which the universe writes its dramas. Not in minutes or years, but in epochs. Not in words, but in gravity, light and motion. And we, tiny, thinking beings on a single pale world, have discovered this fate not through prophecy or dreams, but through reason through observation, through a fragile lens pointed at the sky. The universe has given us a glimpse of the future, and it is beautiful, terrifying, and inevitable. And it has only just begun. But even in the quiet aftermath of cataclysm, something stirs. As Milkameda takes shape, glowing faintly across an aging universe, remnants of the past remain. Echoes, threads of what once was, Star clusters that once belonged to Andromeda now orbit in elongated trails. Cold, ancient stars from the Milky Way drift in lonely silence, untethered from any arm, without purpose, without anchor. And yet, not all is lost. From the cosmic violence emerges not just destruction, but creation. In the chaos of compression, the dust and gas of two galaxies give birth to new suns. Bright, young stars erupt in clusters, burning blue and hot, forming in the shock waves of colliding gas clouds. Stellar nurseries are reborn in places where darkness had reigned for eons. Life, perhaps, could begin again, elsewhere, in a planetary system born from the fusion of galactic cores orbiting a newborn star. Molecules may come together in liquid oceans beneath alien skies. Evolution might take a different path, Beings unlike us could one day look to their night sky and wonder, what came before? Would they know that their galaxy was born from the death of two? Would they feel the gravity of memory? Milkameda, though still, is a monument to movement. It is a place of memory carved from collision, a place where stars are older than language and distances defy imagination. And far from its center, if Earth's sun survives the upheaval and its planets remain tethered, our solar system will have a new address. We will no longer reside in the Milky Way. We will orbit a different kind of silence. And yet, to the eye looking up from that distant world, the stars may still appear serene. The sky may still be full of light. The illusion of stillness will remain, though every star in that sky is a migrant a refugee from an older cosmos. The ancient black holes at the center of each galaxy, those invisible engines of gravity, will spiral into each other, circling in a cosmic ballet that lasts hundreds of millions of years, each orbit tighter, each revolution faster, until at last, with a final titanic release of energy, they will merge. The result? 
a black hole more massive than anything we have ever observed. It will dominate the heart of Milkameda, bending light, shaping orbits, and anchoring the destiny of stars for untold billions of years. Its birth cry, a burst of gravitational waves, will ripple across the fabric of space-time, announcing to the universe that something unimaginably powerful has taken form. But no human will likely be there to witness it. By then, the universe will be a different place. Stars will be scarcer, energy harder to find. The cosmos itself will have expanded beyond comprehension, carrying other galaxies far beyond the reach of any light, any telescope, any hope of return. We will be isolated, alone, not just in distance, but in knowledge. Milkameda may be all that remains visible in the observable sky. Astronomers of that age, if any exist, might believe their galaxy is the entire universe. The truth that there once were trillions will be hidden in the silence between stars, forgotten by all but the photons still traveling through space, unless we preserve the memory.